So you may have heard me mention before that I live in the Cayman Islands and it's absolutely fabulous apart from one thing. You cannot buy a lot of stuff in the stores here. It's a very small island. We don't have a large population. So we don't have a big craft store like Joann's or Michael's or anything like that. So anything that I want to order, I have to buy it overseas and then I get it shipped to an agent in the US and they send it on a container ship and it comes and arrives at the port here in Grand Cayman. And because it's so, so expensive, um, to do that both in terms of putting it on a ship and getting it sent over and also the horrible customs duties that they charge me when we arrive that's all part of the sunshine tax for living in the Cayman Islands so I only shop once a year so when I shop I tend to go all out and buy everything and everything you see here has got to last me a year so let's go with this one first of all all of these are from Jerry's Artarama so before we go any further I should tell you that Jerry's have not sponsored me to make this video they have not given me anything for free I have just ordered all of these things from them and I've been so delighted that I thought I would share it with you because I did order from another supplier online a big um, a big online store and I sat and I waited I booked spots on the boat for it to come and then it just never came and I got in touch and I said where's my order and they said oh we cancelled your order um, even though they hadn't let me know because my shipping address was not the same as my billing address well of course it's not so anyway, Jerry's were extremely good. I placed an order, it went through first time, no problem. It shipped really quickly, it arrived all in one go, beautifully packaged. And so I think I need to tell you about them in case you've not ordered from them before. So let's have a look. Firstly, I have ordered canvases. These are Practica Economy Stretch Canvas and they come in two packs. This is a 12 by 12. They look pretty good. Let's see. They look good, so uh, yes, I've got a whole box of these. How many comes in the box? 10 sets, so that means I've got 20 12 inch canvases. So that is gonna make me very happy. That's my first box. Let's get that out of here. I'm going to quickly going to run out of space. Then this one I know is canvases also. Because I normally paint on square canvases, I thought it would be nice for a change to do something that is completely not square. Um, so I have bought this box. Let's try and get them out. Ta-da! So these are very not square. These are rectangular. They are 10 by 20. Uh, five eighths deep and again these are the economy stretch canvas practica range in a two pack so basically you get a pair and I thought these would be great either to do like a big swipe or a big pour with a big kind of stripe down the middle or something or you know stripes going across something like that um, or something with a big negative space also I can do pairs so I could do two that go side by side or I could even do three because I have bought see I think there are 10 sets in here as well 10 sets of two so that is 20 of these canvases Woohoo! so that makes me very happy that's those ones that's my 10 by 20 and I think that's all the canvases because I do have some canvases already left over so let's have a look what else I've got let's go with these ones these are Da Vinci liquid art panels and I have been wanting to try these for a long time these are, um, these have got like a, a white painting section just here, but it's recessed. So it's like a, a cradled board. You can see it's like a cradled board, but the painting surface is smooth and recessed so that you have a little lip, about a one eighth of an inch. And these are great for liquid arts. So it says on the back, oh, I need my glasses. Acrylics and mixed media, encaustics, alcohol inks and dyes, resin based paints, and of course acrylic pouring. So I've only got um, small ones. I thought that that would be enough for me to give it a try. And if I really love them, then I can do some more. But I was thinking these would be great, not only for small pours, but also for small resin pieces, um, where the, you, know, the, you don't make so much resin typically that it pours off the edge like paint does. Um, it's going to stay within the, the area that I've, that's marked off by the little border and it basically comes ready framed. So once it's poured or painted or you've done your resin art, the frame is already built in. You could even paint, this, paint the edge a different colour if you wanted to. So I am going to try 
those ones. I've only got um, small ones of those, just the six by six. However, I have bought other panels, haven't even undone it yet, so let's take a look. Trusty kitchen knife, come to the rescue. Hopefully I won't cut myself on life on camera. And these are, okay, so these and all these other boxes that I've got here are birch panels. Again, everything from Jerry's Artorama. And I will put links underneath, obviously, to all of the products that I've bought. So these are the Da Vinci Pro panels, strong, smooth, consistent surface, birchwood painting panels, cradled with New Zealand pine. There we go. So that's what these look like on the front. They've got a beautiful smooth wood finish um, and then cradled on the side. So they're kind of hollow on the back. And I bought a box of these in the six inch. Again, I thought these would be really nice for um, uh, liquid art, but also for resin and also maybe for alcohol inks because I've recently bought myself some alcohol inks which I'm very excited to work with. And I thought um, typically those are done on smaller pieces of UPO paper, which I could then perhaps mount onto these panels and um, then I thought they would be nice to display. And of course you can also use them as little shadow boxes too. But they also are six by six, which would make them great for tiles. So I could mount a painted tile on the front of here as well. So I've got a box of those. That comes in 12 pieces. So 12 in a box at six by six. And those are my pro panels there. Then I bought other sizes. So this is exactly the same. This is the Da Vinci Pro Panels. This is a 7 8 of an inch thickness, and this is the 12 by 12. And uh, these come obviously all individually packaged. I bought them in a box of four. So I've got, so as well as the 12 inch canvases, I've got these 12 inch panels, and they're gonna be really great for resin art, I think, because I'm hoping to do more resin this year. So um, resin doesn't do as well on canvases because it can kind of, with the weight of it, it can sag and um, kind of collect in the middle and all kind of run to the center. So I've got these, which are really not very much more than a good um, canvas in terms of its price, but they're gonna be absolutely perfect for resin art. And even if you look on the back, you know, the, the quality of them is lovely. The back is finished really nice. So they look really good. So I'm hoping, and again, I could mount tiles or something maybe on here, or, um, or a piece of alcohol ink but we will see. I think they're gonna be quite um, quite flexible to work with and I'm looking forward to doing something like that. And then I've got them also in two more sizes because I went maybe a bit over the top. Okay, I admit it. I may have shopped a little bit too much, but I've not shopped for a whole year when I shop. So I don't know what I'm gonna do this year. I'm gonna be, what's gonna take my fancy? But I would like to do larger pieces. So I've got a few smaller canvases left over from the shopping that I did um, last, about 15 months ago now. So I bought some larger pieces to go with those smaller ones because I really want to do uh, an art exhibit this year. There's a nice cafe in town where you can, um, they take on artists once a month to do, um, do displays. So I want to try and get some of my art into this cafe this year and put my fear to one side. So this again is the Da Vinci Birchwood Pro panel. This is one and five eighths of an inch thick, 12 by 24. So again, I've gone away from trying to do everything square and try and get out of my comfort zone to do things rectangular. And again, this is absolutely beautifully made. Just look on the back here. That's just fabulous. It's like a work of art in itself before you can do anything on it. So again, I'm thinking this is gonna make some um, beautiful poured art, or I could, um, you know, just mount three tiles or something down it. That would look really cool too. It doesn't really need anything to make it look fabulous because it already is fabulous. So, you know, I could just put something on there or maybe some resin art or something, but we will see. So I've got a box of those. Those are 12 by 24 and there are four pieces and they're really nice and thick. Very, very nice quality. And then, because I was worried that wasn't big enough, oh, my last box. Oh, oh goodness. And uh, I'm excited to get this one open. Let's see. Oh. 
these are bigger again. I'm gonna have to stand up to get these ones out. Okay. Look at the size of that. This is a 16 by 20. Again, it's one and five eighths of an inch thickness. The Da Vinci Pro panels again. And what I love is they're, they're absolutely awesome. Just look how thick the wood is and how beautifully made it is. They're really good, really, really nice. And all individually wrapped and you can buy them in a set as well. So I bought these in a set of four. So I've got four of these, in which case it comes in a box and it's so easy for me to store it. I can just keep them all in my attic like this and then use them when I want them. Knowing that they're all good. So there we go. That is pretty much my haul. So those are my painting surfaces. I've got everything ranging from the very, very small six inch boards to the six inch liquid panels. Then I've got uh, 10 by 20 canvases, 12 inch canvases, and then I've got these three larger sizes of boards, including some of the 12 inch. So I am gonna be kept really busy this year. I'm also gonna to have to clear out a little bit of space to put all my new exciting purchases. So thank you to Jerry's because you made my order go so smooth. It was so quick, the prices were excellent and I'm really, really happy with it. So um, if you get a chance, check out Jerry's because I don't think you'll be disappointed. And um, once again, Jerry's have not given me any special deal for me to say that. I just did it because I was really happy with the service and the prices and the wonderful products that I got from them. So stick around because in future, I'm gonna be doing some kind of paintings or art or something on all of these panels. Thanks for hanging out with me while I excitedly unwrapped all of my presents today and I will see you here again very soon.